Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Welcome to your weekly reading with me, Cindy. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Feliz Navidad. Happy Holidays. All that stuff. It is December 25th, I believe, the day this video is coming out. So it's kind of filled with magic. Yeah, Santa Claus magic. Little baby Jesus magic. All that stuff. Let's see where this goes. All right, we're doing a success spread. And um, I did this video a week ago and uploaded it and scheduled it. Isn't that sneaky? Yeah. Because I knew I wouldn't be. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to make a video on Christmas Day. Come on. I'm going to like have a nap because my son will be up at 4 a.m. Can't do that. Okay, so success spread. It's a five card spread. It's just for Virgo. We're going to find out what a major concern or obstacle is for you right now. How it's showing up in your life. Hidden factors around it. People, things that can help you get through it and what you need to do to be successful. So let's get started, huh? Hey, Virgo. All right. Shuffling till someone tells me to stop. There we go. Split it in three, pick from the top. Okay, I am going to clarify with my teeny tiny tarot. It's funny. This guy's been getting around a lot this week. People with little little feelings of love that they want to share. Um, so, if it seems like I go kind of fast through the cards at first, it's okay. We're going to go back and clarify. Major obstacle or concern that you're facing is the Ace of Swords. Wow. Well, the truth. Hmm. A brand new beginning in truth, clarity, clear thinking, something interesting here. It's a very fiery card too, for a sword card in this deck. Lots of fire, lots of desire behind wanting to know the truth or wanting this new beginning. Very intense. So how is this concern showing up in your life? How is it shaping the course of your life? Oh, that's pretty good. The six of wands, like victory, being heard. People celebrating what it is that you have to say or what it is that you want to do. That's awesome. I wonder why this Ace of Swords is a concern. Let's see where this goes. Hidden factors affecting the current situation. Things that you may not be aware of, but you should be because it helps you move forward. Ooh. The Five of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles. So someone, something, you, someone around you needs to leave a very depleted energy. Very depleted. Out of home, out of work, something like that. Hidden factors affecting the current situation. So somebody, let's see where this goes. Somebody around you is in this energy. I'm kind of hoping that's what it is, that this isn't like something hidden coming towards you. So let's just see. This might be like you realizing, you know what, this is not serving me. And that's part of like a truth. Because mm. so for some reason, the truth is feeling like an obstacle or a concern. Clarity in some issue here. Okay, so what is the new idea people are things to help you grow further? Huh, the three of wands, looking out over the horizon there. Hmm, what else can come in for me here? Kind of balancing what you've got going on as well. Something in the horizon coming in for you is going to help you move further, grow further. Okay, so the next card, the last one in this spread, if it's a positive card, it's what you need to do to continue moving forward um, into success. If it's a negative card, it's what you need to not do or stop doing to avoid failure. Oh, hmm. two of swords. I want to put it as a negative card because the energy's kind of stagnant, right? The Two of Swords. Now this Two of Swords isn't as bad as a lot of the other decks. She doesn't have a blindfold on. Um, she doesn't have the swords crossed in front of her like I can't move forward, I need to think about this. I kind of like her energy and I like her energy a lot in this. She's one of my favorite um, depictions of a character in this deck in particular. Because she stands out into the open, the open air, the open breeze. I just feel like to me, that's a place where you can make a really clear choice and decision. There's no distractions. It's just you, your mind, your soul and spirit there making this choice. She's looking ahead. I think she knows where she's going. Her swords are behind her. She's like her energy is moving forward. There's nothing blocking her. 
her energy is moving forward. It's just making the move to go. It's like I'm, so for me, this is about just making them the choice to finally go. I don't think this person sits in indecision. I think they finally made the choice. So it is, is it a positive card? Is it a negative card? You take, take it how it serves your situation. Um, I think the message is it's time to move forward into your choice, right? You got to do that. Now, the bottom of the deck is the three of cups. So the underlying energy here serving this reading is celebration, celebration with family and friends. Like it's good energy. So let us start clarifying. This major concern or obstacle for you is the ace of swords. The ace of swords. How is this a problem? This ace of swords. What is this truth for one thing? What is this truth? What is this truth with the ace of swords? What is this truth or clarity with the Ace of Swords? Something flipped here. Oh. Hmm. The King of Cups has come up. So now we've gone into water energy. Could be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Now, um, but to me, it's more significant what is representative of the card. So the King of Chalices or Cups is somebody who's um, very grounded energy has very deep feelings and emotions regarding something, but they're not really showing it. They don't really show that. The, you know, they're not really, it's there, it's there. There are very deep feelings and emotions here, but keeping that under wraps, keeping that under wraps. This is the clarity. Now who's keeping that under wraps? Does someone feel that for you? And you know it, you've realized that? Or you feel this for someone. Who's feeling this? Who's feeling this? Um, I'm getting the page now. Now that I told you this guy's been around a lot this week. The knave or page of chalices or cups. Let's call him the page of cups. The page of cups has come out here. So it could be a water energy around you that's feeling this. Because we're getting double cups now about this truth. And um, maybe they're acting a little bit shy, a little bit corny. Like now you've got it figured out. Ah, now I know why they're acting like this. But why are their feelings a big concern for you? <laughs> oh, the web we weave, huh? Okay, so the devil card came out. There's Capricorn energy. So their feelings are a big concern for you because I think you have a lot of fiery desire here for this person. A lot of fiery desire. Which is like, mm -hmm. The Ace of Swords. Remember all the fire around this truth and clarity? Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you might also feel trapped by something. It's making it difficult to move forward towards this. But your life is showing up with victory here with the Six of Wands regarding this situation. So, this, like, there's going to be victory here. Okay, what's this victory? What is this victory that Virgo will find? It's bringing you a lot of choices. So maybe you haven't had choices in the past. Um, a lot of things to think about. Things that you haven't had the opportunity to think about before. It's opening up opportunities for you, that's for sure. There's going to be a lot to think about. And you can, I want to say, like, kind of find your own victory here. Like, with what you choose to do. The hidden factors affecting your situation are the Five of Pentacles. Let's see what this deplete of energy is. What is this energy that needs to be exited? Cards, the Queen of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. Hmm. Well, Pentacles are you. And you kind of say that Queen of Pentacles is you. And then the Three of Pentacles is like sort of collaborating. A lot of times it's, you know, something you're doing at work or school with other people, exchanging ideas.
Okay, this is an interesting message. Huh. I th and this might be just like for one person. This is very specific. The message that is coming in is there's somebody who I want to say is a university student, university college student, and like you know a professor, someone has like really strong um, feelings and emotions towards you. I'm kind of getting the message to move away from the that energy. This, you know, because this is a little bit what that card is. It just, all of a sudden it was weird. It was like this message came in and I just see these, this younger person, almost like this student. Um, and I don't, like, I don't feel like this is like something illegal. I mean, you're in university or college. You're probably like 18 into your early 20s. So, you know, it's your choice, whatever you want to do. But it feels like this, this person that you're, that has deep feelings or emotions for you is older, is quite a bit older. Um, and I think you may have some desires towards them, but you had the devil card come out. So you didn't have like the queen of cups come out or anything. It's not like you feeling a lot of love and affection for this person. You might be like physically attracted to them and like, yeah, this would be, would be fun or, you know. Uh, but I, I asked like, what is this depleting energy you need to move away from? So you're, <laughs> you need to move yourself away from this situation. Okay, let's just leave it that. It's very specific. And it could be someone else too, who's dealing with maybe someone at work who is older. It doesn't really feel like it's a boss or someone though. It's not like I'm not getting emperor energy. It could be someone who's a little bit higher up than you, but they're definitely older. This person is older. Why does Virgo, why should Virgo move away from this energy? The six of um, pentacles here. So they're, they're likely at some point there won't be balance and harmony between the two of you for some reason. This feels like it wants to be a private reading and I can't do that. <laughs> that's gonna get that's gonna get tricky. Um, it's so funny. The one I did for Leo was dating advice by Cindy. <laughs> Cause they needed a little bit of help too. Okay, so what happens? Let's say you take the advice of, or this hidden factor affecting the current situation. You're going to want to, to move. You may, maybe you don't feel like it now. Like, I don't feel like this is depleted of energy. Like, I don't want to move away um, from this person. It feels like an older person who has deep feelings for you. Now, it may feel depleting at some point because to this person is more mature than you. So they are kind of maybe going into it eyes wide open, hopefully. Uh, if you're a lot younger than this person, you may not realize like if you're going into this for the sex or the fun or whatever, the adventure of it. But this person has deep feelings. Once you connect, it's going to be harder for you to disconnect, even if you don't develop feelings, because you know that this person is you know, connected to you. If someone has deep feelings and then you take it to a physical level, um, that makes it even harder for that person if you walk away from them. So that's all I'm saying. <laughs> like I'm talking to like some high school, not high school. Gosh, don't be doing that in high school. My gosh. Um, some like university students that are off this week are like, oh man. Yeah, I know. If they're just desires and you're just desires, whatever, I don't know, I guess you're all adults. You, you do it. You do what you need to do. Okay, what happens when you move away from this depleted energy? Let's get that. What happens when you do move away from this depleted energy? Ooh, high priestess. That's pretty good. Now your learning will skyrocket. <laughs> your learning will skyrocket. And will it ever? Mm -hmm. This doesn't feel like it's a good move for you academically, maybe, or career-wise to connect with this person for some reason. There's a lot of clarity, like something's become very apparent to you that this older, more mature person, even if they've, I, I think they're older. I was going to say, even if they're not older, they're at least a lot more mature somehow than you. And I don't think so, though. I think they're older. I think this person is older. 
this so if you move away from that energy this is a fabulous card this is a fabulous card this is you can kind of compare it to being all the queens in the deck like this person has a lot of confidence you can go into this situation just know it's going to be harder to remove yourself from it once you take it to that level with this person if it feels depleted it feels like it's depleting you and when you move away from it you move into high priestess energy which is very good very clear thinking very intuitive very book learned like experience you're going to bring a lot of experiences so it might be worth it but just know i mean you could end up breaking some some old guy's heart here you know when we get older we get more fragile can't do that to us man you young whippersnippers okay new ideas people are things to help you grow further the three of wands so look over the horizon you know there's not just this um old professor <laughs> there's other people that you can meet too three of wands let's see what comes in with the three of wands what is this ship there's two cards oh oh wow okay we have the ace of pentacles and we have the knight of swords oh there's something on the horizon that's coming in pretty quick something that's coming in pretty quick and it's very stable this may even be an opportunity this may be a job offer it could be oh it could be a job offer in the university or the college that you're at if that's how this is resonating for you um and maybe you wouldn't get that offer if you're connected with this person somehow or you know this is a i don't know you got to make your own choices i can't tell you what to do i can't tell you what to do but it feels like this is a, something coming in very fast very fast with this knight of swords it's literally like around the corner maybe just after the holidays um and if this is a work situation for you uh, there's a, like a promotion there's something coming in really fast here like look out over the horizon the three of wands is telling you to look out into the horizon there's a ship coming in there's a ship that you want to come in it's about to come in really fast so watch what you tie yourself down to right now what you need to do to be successful remember oh this is the two of swords oh yeah now it makes sense i think you know like i said this person knows where they want to go okay so um what direction is spirit suggesting that virgo go what direction is spirit suggesting that virgo choose here the page of pentacles someone your own age come on that's literally what that is or choose yourself first if you are like a student. I, this is so funny. Who knows who's coming in on these readings, you know? Now that you all have a little bit of time over the holidays. So the neighbor page of pentacles. This is uh, somebody who's younger. Somebody who's learning. Somebody who's um, it kind of academic. It's a little academic energy. This is a very interesting reading. Well, thank you for coming to my channel if you've never been here before. And you have like a little bit of time while you try to avoid your family over the holidays the world the sun yeah there's stuff coming in for you eight of pentacles you're gonna have to work hard but then you get the lovers and the empress and the six of cups okay this is what's all on the bottom here the world i feel like i'm talking to a younger group right now or even if it's an older group even it's my regular group my regular geriatric group like me um whoever this is for there's some uh, there's a stuff coming in for you here a lot of opportunity coming towards you it's represented here by the sun. This is wish fulfillment, happiness, you know, ever after. Eight of Pentacles, there will be a little bit of work required. There always is for anything that's worth having. Then the lovers comes in. So there will be choices in partnership. And there will be some people guided to you that are divinely guided. Like really wonderful energy. The Empress, this is fulfillment. This is abundance. This is creative energy. This to me is also all of the queens in the deck. This is just like being bang on your game, man. Everybody wants you. You are the thing. And then the Six of Cups, this is soulmate energy coming through. So very good connection. <laughs> Can't believe the bottom. It just keeps going. I'm going to stop here at the Ace of Swords. All right. New beginning and truth and clarity. Leave that old professor behind, man. He'll find himself an old an old lady or something or an old man could be a could be a yeah i know i guess because i'm kind of getting like cougar i don't know i'm into younger guys i don't know i don't really understand any guys to be honest okay so here we go the um oh oh my gosh it's your card you are good enough full moon and virgo isn't that amazing 
I don't know the last time I pulled like just one card and it was specifically for the group I was reading for. You are good enough. You are good enough. You're good enough for what it is that you dream of for yourself here. You don't need to settle. You don't need to settle. You're good enough. And because that underlying energy that's coming through here is fabulous. All right, Virgo, thank you so much. I hope that helped you pull away a little bit from the chaos of the celebration time. And um, oh, I said this to Leo. I'm going to say it to everybody whose video is today. Don't put anything mean in the comments or anything nasty about any exes or anything like that. I want you to govern yourself and think with the little baby Jesus like what I'm writing in the comments today. Would little baby Jesus like that? Would little baby Jesus approve? <laughs> if the answer is no, then change how you're writing your comments. Okay, guys? I just wanted to put that in there. Thank you so much. Have a great week. Until next time, be gentle with yourselves. Bye.